In this tutorial, you will learn how to make these line graph using Microsoft Excel. This data is about the effect of temperature and emulsion size. I have stored these emulsions on three different temperature, which are 4 degrees centigrade, 25 and 55. And I have taken the data about after specified uh, time intervals, which is 0 days, 5 days, up to 2 months. So let's learn how I make uh, these line graphs using this data. I have already I have already entered uh, the data uh, to save time. So first select this data. Go to insert option. And in uh, insert scatter option select this one scatter with smooth lines and markers so line graph is made but it uh, does not look nicer so i will make a couple of changes in it to make it in this form so first i use this handle to resize this so it become clear to me After that, you can see here that uh, different layouts are available. I will select layout 1 because I want uh, that these axis appears on this graph. Firstly, format the, I format this title. Write your title in formula bar and press enter. emulsion size press enter and go to home page and I will select time new roman 18 and bold I don't uh, want these lines, so select these lines and press backscape. And I this title, these values are about droplet size. And unit is nanometer. Press enter. And time new romance 12. Forty. Similarly, I select this one, change its color and font size. Now I format x axis, time new roman, twelve, and black color. These are storage interval. Write in formula bar and press enter. Sorry, story days. Time new Roman fourteen. Bold with black color. Then you can see here that uh, the values start from 119 and its graph. this graph shows values from 0 so it we don't need this area so I will uh, reshape these y axis values select these values right click and go to format axis here you can see that minimum values is 0 and maximum values is 250. I will change this value to 110 minimum value and maximum value I will maximum value in our data is 
215 so i will select here 225 you can see here that the significant change is observed in this graph and it looks quite nicer so we keep on editing here you can select your major unit and minor unit major unit mean the difference between these two readings and minor unit minor unit uh, appears here between these in the form of tick marks so i will uh, firstly select that option go to tick marks and outside and this one minor outside so these are the major and tick marks and these are the minors so you can control uh, these location of these tick marks by controlling the units i want that after five values these tick marks appeared and you can see here that between these two these value is be appeared I change this value to 30 because here uh, well, if value is here present then it look it will look nicer so we have change minimum value uh, learn about units and tick marks so next uh, go to fill option fill and line option I want solid line here and sorry no fill but i select line solid line and uh, color of line is black width 1.5 so and everything else is good so I'll select this and similarly format like this inline solid line black and 1.5 go to here and minimum value is 0 and maximum 70 here you can see that our time interval is up to 60 so i will change maximum value to 60 major unit 10 there is a difference of 10 between these and minor 2 which appear in the form of tick marks when i select that option go to tick marks and outside outside if you want to decrease this number of tick marks then you can increase the value of minor units so we have format these axes as well as their titles and uh, title and their labels so now i will format these lines and their markers you can change the color of these lines and width and shape select these lines go to fill and line option here you can see two options appear first one is line and second one is marker marker is the dots which are appeared on these lines and line it itself these are the lines whole lines i solid line and uh, first line color i select red width to you can also uh, uh, have you have an option to adjust the shape of this line in the form of dot or anything else you can see here here, here different options are available or solid line or dotted line or dash whatever you want you can also control the cap type of these lines so i uh, i will select uh, this option and go to marker go to marker option and select build in different styles of marker are available here i will firstly i select this one and adjust its size to six 
you can see the, in the legends that marker color is bluish and the line color is red so i will adjust this color to red fill off marker solid fill and red and uh, either you select border no line that is also fine or you if you want different color around this marker you can select solid line around it and you can also control its width so next select uh, next line solid fill change its color to green no line and uh, marker its uh, shape is rectangular type and size 6 now I will format this line and uh, color green to I will leave rest uh, options as it so I will format this third line go to fill and line option select this purple you see here the line is selected not marker it 1.5.2 now go to marker setting first marker option select shape of marker mm -hmm. I will select this one and size 6 you want solid fill in marker and color is purple and in border I want uh, no line so you can see here that I have formatted this graph but uh, legend is not looking good I select this and resize it 12 now if you want more space this you can adjust its position of this le legend I adjust here and then click on plot area this is the plot area and this is chart area you can use this handle to resize plot area so finally we have completed and the formatting of this graph now it looks nicer nicer if you have any further confusion uh, mention in comment section i will reply in shortest possible time thank you for watching this tutorial goodbye